Hello Taurus and welcome to your May 31st to June 6th weekly tarot reading. So don't forget that you can check out your sun, moon, rising sign as well because not all messages will resonate with every Taurus. And also keep in mind that time is fluid so you could be dealing with this now or possibly a little bit further on than June 6th. So let's get into it for my Tauruses. This is a general reading, but if I do feel called to read it in a love sense, I will from spirit. So let's see what is coming out for my Tauruses for the week of May 31st to June 6th for my Tauruses for the week of May 31st to June 6th for Taurus. May 31st to June 5th, 6th. All right, Taurus, let's see. Okay, Taurus, so your first card out here is we have surprise. Look for the unexpected today. Taurus, you possibly are having a surprise this week. Maybe something that you weren't expecting. Not possibly, you will be. You could be have already experienced this surprise or you will be a little bit after this week. But there is something unexpected coming into your reality. And it looks like it's going to bring you a choice to make as well. Because your next card out is we have choices. There is another way. Ask your unicorn to help you find it. So choices, card four. Thir this is card 31. Three plus one is four. So we have two fours are out, are out already. Wow, Taurus. And your next card out here is we have magic, card number 18. There is magic around you. So expect excitement and joy. All right, so Taurus, it looks as though you have something coming into your reality that is going to be a little bit unexpected for you. I feel like you are, since you're not expecting this, there will be a choice to be made, obviously, with surprises, you know, you have to accept or deny. So I feel as though with, for a lot of you Tauruses, you don't know how to go around about this situation and possibly, you know, some of you Tauruses could be surprising yourself on how you're doing something this week. And it's because of the way you are going to be making a choice that is going to feel like different to you. I feel as though with the choice card coming out because that is emphasizing on that there's another way to do something. So I feel as though Taurus, for, uh, for some of you, you're having someone coming in choosing a different way to approach you possibly there's some type of magic into your life it could be friends it could be family it could be lovers it could be a job or for some of you Tauruses you're finding a new way to do something and you're bringing more magic around you and I feel as though Taurus you're gonna find this other way to do something and it's gonna surprise you how well it worked out I'm getting that for a lot of you Tauruses. So let's see what's coming out from the Moonology deck so we can get some more information on you. We are also entering eclipse season, so that is something to be prepared about as well. We have a lot of planets going retrograde, a lot of revisions to our lives. So let's see what's coming out here for Taurus for the week of May 31st to June 5th. We also do have an eclipse on June 5th. So Taurus, this could be linked to that as well because of the surprise, unexpected, the magic. All right, so your first card out here is we have your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. Your next card out is a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. And your next card out is, there you are, new moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. So for my people who have Taurus moons that are watching this, this is extremely important for you as well. I know sometimes people don't do that and they don't watch anything else other than their sun sign, but definitely watch your other placements because it's good to get an overall message. So what I see here, Taurus, is that you've been working on you and you've been working on things that are going to make your life better. 
Possibly you're putting work into someone else. Possibly you're putting work into a friendship. Possibly you're putting work into another person romantically. Possibly you could be putting work into your family. But with a fiery climax approaches here, that's showing me that that is your surprise. That is your unexpected change where it's like, whoa, this is it. This is the peak. Now what do we do? And that's when we go to choices of what do we do? Which way do we go? What do we do with this fiery climax that is coming? What do we do with this unexpected surprise? So for a lot of you Tauruses, I feel as though you have been really working on making something work in your life. And I feel as though this is the week where it's going to show you a little bit more effort that's going to kind of sh get, be a little bit unexpected for you, but it's going to be something that feels extremely magical, ex extremely like a miracle. Possibly you didn't think that this would ever happen. Maybe you thought this person would never do this or um, I would never thought that I would ever be friends with this person ever again. And then we finally got back together. But with prosperity lies ahead here, Taurus, that means that you are setting a foundation and this choice that you have to make here, Taurus, is going to push you in the direction of feeling more prosperous and feeling more abundant in your life because I feel as though you weren't really expecting your hard, wor your hard work to pay off as quickly or possibly, you know, Taurus, you were just feeling like, well, when is it my turn to reap rewards? When is it my turn to get something? And Taurus, this week is your time. So... Let's get some tarot on this because let's get more of details on what possibly this surprise could be, what this climax is, who this is with as well. This could be a lot of you for work as well with this new moon in Capricorn and this new moon in Taurus. With the fiery um, climax approaches, this could be expected um, exactly linked to work with the Capricorn energy coming out and you may have to make a choice like do I want to go back to this job or do I want to find a new job you know because I don't know where you are in the world possibly the coronavirus lockdown is lifting and you have a choice to make of where do I go from here possibly you hear from a work situation and you're like wait do I really want to go back to that job or do I want to start fresh so let's see what's coming out here for Taurus for Taurus for the week of May 31st to June 6th. All right, Taurus. So your first card out here, Taurus, is we have Strength, card of Leo. Your next card out here is we have the Seven of Swords. Your next card out here, Taurus, is we have the Queen of Pentacles, more Earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Your next card out here is we have the Moon. Your next card is we have the Ten of Pentacles, very nice. And your next card out is the Page of Wands. There is that newness, there is that surprise, there is that spark. So, I feel as though for Taurus, this could go a lot of different ways. I feel as though you've been deceiving yourself, feeling that your hard work is not paying off. I feel like you've been controlling your energy and kind of having a little bit deceptive thoughts, possibly not confronting your feelings, possibly not wanting to express your feelings to somebody. Possibly you were thinking somebody was deceiving you. So this could be linked to work, this could be linked to romance, this could be friends. But I feel like, Taurus, you've been pulling back your energy and you've been really in your own space trying to figure out wh how to go about something next or how to navigate a work situation, how to navigate a coworker who you just don't feel like seeing ever again, how to navigate a friend that possibly did you wrong in the past. We have the moon energy here, which is Pisces, possible cancer as well. But in the tarot the card is, um, I look at that card as linked to Pisces. So with strength here with the Seven of Swords, I feel like you have really been controlling your energy and possibly you could have been deceiving your own emotions about this situation never coming to fruition. 
I feel as though possibly a lot of you Tauruses were like, no, nothing's ever going to come out of this job. They're probably just going to fire me and I'm going to have to find a new one. Or vice versa, you think they'll never reach out to you and you can find a new job. And then all of a sudden they reach out and they're like, hey, we Taurus, we want you back. And you're like, oh, but I think I want to try something new. So it could go a lot of different ways, especially here with this Queen of Pentacles. This is you sitting in your power. You could be also dealing with another um, Earth sign as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I feel like you are just contemplating where you want to put your efforts in. Because this queen is staring at her pentacle and she's like, well, what do I want to do with this? And that is where the choices come in. And that's where, with the seven of swords underneath choices, I feel like you don't want to make the wrong move. Because one wrong move, you're looked at as a thief, as a deceptive person, as possibly not being true and genuine. So I feel like Taurus, you are trying to make the right moves this time around and really make sure you're controlling yourself from people like this as well. So it could be a choice for you to stray away from deceptive energy as well. So Taurus, with the page of wands here with prosperity lies ahead. This is just showing me that there is a possibility that there is a new spark in Taurus's life. So this could be linked to a passionate endeavor, a creative endeavor. Possibly you started um, working on a new hobby. Possibly you decided to be courageous and reach out to somebody or someone is deciding to be courageous and reach out to you. Something is unexpected here and this is exactly where it is with this page of wands. The page of wands, he has courage. He has he he has just built his confidence, but he has courage and he's ready and he wants to um go out and he doesn't know if the way he's going to go about and everything is going to be correct, but he has courage to try and to do so from what he has learned and I feel as though Taurus, if this is not you being courageous, then this is someone else being courageous towards you this week and really just going for it. And just being like, Taurus, hey, I wanna be your friend again. Hey, Taurus, I wanna be with you again. Hey, Taurus, I wanna have this 10 of Pentacles foundation again. Hey, Taurus, I want you back at work. So there is a lot of feeling here of, I feel a lot of Taurus energy. So I do feel as though with all of this energy coming out here with the hard work paying off and the Taurus energy, a lot of you, this is linked to work, but a lot of you, this is linked to you doing something a different way or possibly someone doing something differently in a way towards you that you weren't really expecting because with the fiery climax approaches with the 10 of pentacles, you're going to feel like, wow, I do have a strong foundation with this person or wow, I do have a strong foundation with this job that you possibly thought you didn't have like I really feel like Taurus you just didn't think that this person would reach out to you or that you would ever grow the um, courage to reach out to another person and this is just with the energy of feeling controlled and kind of like not expressing it was hard to believe that the page of wands could have even been burst but it's here. This new creative endeavor is on its way to you. You are either doing this to somebody else or someone's doing this back to you. There is a new sense of passion in your life, Taurus. And this could have been you doing it or it could have been another person. But there is a choice to be made and someone made an unexpected choice. And I feel as though it had a little bit of, I, had a, I feel like it had a lot of bit of passion in it too as well. Especially with the full moon in Aries. That is passionate. That is um, go for it energy. That's that fool energy. Like I'm just going to go for it with the page of wands. I'm just going to go for it. Taurus, you go for it or someone else goes for it towards you. And it brings you a lot of joy and a lot of feeling of that this person is here for you, or this job is here for you, or you have this foundation. So the choice is yours, Taurus. You do what you want to do with this unexpected news this magic happening in your life this this surprise that you weren't expecting and i feel as though taurus nonetheless it's going to really help you and show you how abundant you are and how worthy you are 
of that Ten of Pentacles foundation and that feeling of I am good enough, I am worthy. I am good enough to reach out to someone or someone thinks, Taurus, I found your worth. I want to come towards you. I know your worth. I want to come towards you and I want to give you this peace offering. I want to give you this. Can we be friends again? Can we work this out? Can we, do you want to work with me again? There is a sense of working together. I'm also feeling here, but there is just a sense of feeling valued, of feeling worthy, and having courage. So, someone has courage this week. Either it's you, Taurus, or someone else. And it's going to be a little bit unexpected. So, I would definitely look forward to your comments below. So, please leave some. And don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram to book a private reading. Send me a DM. Or you can send me an email, which is also down in the description box below. Thank you for watching, Taurus. Bye.